Warning, I will not be held responsible for any damages to software and methods shown in this video may cause to yours or someone else's computer, hardware, software, and or data, including loss of use of such devices and or loss of data and or loss of profits from the resulting inability to use such devices and data. Any information or program you choose to put into use from this video is done at your own risk. As a precaution, I recommend backing up any irrecoverable data before installing and using any new softwares including those shown in this video. This video will show you how to work around this issue. You have an ATI AMD graphics card. You are trying to output audio from the HDMI port on the ATI AMD graphics card and no audio outputs from the HDMI port, despite the fact that you have the ATI HDMI audio drivers installed. Upon trying to test the functionality of the audio device under AMD HDMI output properties, you are told, device in use. The device is being used by another application. Please close any devices that are playing audio to this device and then try again. Chances are what's happening here is you are using AMD Catalyst 15.71 drivers under Windows 7 64-bit. As it turns out, AMD Catalyst 15.71, which is for many the last release available for their ATI AMD discrete video card, has a bug. It has a HDMI audio output bug. Now, AMD, ATI, who have you, have never corrected the problem. So the easy fix is to simply uninstall the 15.71 drivers and simply install the 15.7 drivers. Now, if you do not have access to the AMD Catalyst 15.7 drivers, you could do a search online if you wish. Maybe there's repositories that have it. I myself have put a repository, a backup if you will, a mirror that you could access the file at this link here. Again, use at your own risks and perils. The, um, the link is also available in the description field of this video page below this video window. This should solve your problem. If you think that there is an advantage to having the 15.71 graphics drivers installed and all you want and you do not want the earlier 15.7 graphics drivers, you want 15.71 but with the HDMI audio functionality, I'll show you how to achieve that in this video. So, as seen when you're looking up the under support.amd.com en-us forward slash download, when you're looking up the most recent drivers for your AMD ATI discrete graphics adapter, you find that the most recent version is the 15.71. You go ahead and you install it, you go through all the steps, you ensure that HDMI audio drivers installed, you accept, it installs, all that good stuff. You reboot, upon rebooting under control panel, you find your device manager, you go in there. You disable your other audio device to ensure that the AMD high definition audio device is the only device that will be used. Disabling it will stop it uh, functioning, of course, we agree, it's disabled, good. Then from there, under sound, under control panel, you find a AMD HDMI output, it's got a green check mark, everything looks good. You go under properties, under properties, under the advanced tab, you try to test it and you receive that pesky error. It's not working, it's not outputting audio. So once again, what you do from that point is you download the AMD Catalyst 15.7 drivers. Again, if you wanna do a search online to find these drivers, you can copy and paste the text here, which, and you put that in Google, and hopefully you'll find repositories that have it online if you don't want to uh, obtain it from me. If you don't want to go through the trouble again, I put it up on a Google Drive mirror, which you could just click on this link and it'll bring you right to the download page, which is here. From here, you click on download. It warns you, Google Drive can't scan this file for viruses, blah, blah, blah. It's too large for Google to scan for viruses. Would you still like to download the file? 
Again, at your own risk and perils, download if you want, download anyway, you're prompted to run save or what have you, I recommend save. You save it where you want. Once it is saved, what you're going to do is you are going to go into your C drive. And there should be an AMD folder in the root of C where you dumped the last installation files from your previous video card install. You want to delete these because if you don't delete them, what will happen is upon trying to install the older drivers, it will reference the newer drivers and just install the newer drivers, which are problematic. So you want to delete the old AMD folder in the root of C. Yes, are you sure you want to move it to a recycle bin? Yes. Once this is done, again, you want to go into Control Panel. Under Control Panel, you want to go under Programs and Features. You're going to find AMD Catalyst Install Manager. You're going to click on Change under that. Yes, you accept. That's fine. You want to go into the Uninstall Manager, you select Yes. When prompted for Express or Custom, you choose Custom. This will remove all AMD drivers and application components. This may include graphic, graphics drivers, audio drivers, and software components, such as Control Center. Select the driver and application component versions that you want to remove. I recommend all versions. Under, he, under this next screen, Customize Uninstall, select Components to Uninstall. You want to uninstall the HDMI audio driver. This is in the scenario where you want to keep the 15.71 graphics drivers and you just want to downgrade the HDMI audio driver. You could do this, of course, you could, if you want to save yourself the hassle, you could just uninstall all previous drivers and reinstall the 15.7 drivers. That does the trick too, but it's up to you. In this scenario, I elected to simply uninstall the HDMI audio driver. I accepted, uninstall complete. Once that's done, the install wizard has successfully installed the HDMI at uh, the AMD Catalyst install manager. Click finish to exit the wizard. Yeah. From there, the download that you did of the AMD Catalyst 15.7 drivers, you're going to right click on that and you're going to select run as administrator. Again, setup will install blah 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 in the following folder you select where you want again see it's by default it puts it in c colon backslash amd that's why we had to delete the previous existence of the amd folder so that we can again dump these older files to access these older files and not the newest files followed by install it installs again it's prompted which language i chose english Select Express or Custom Install, then click Next. I chose Custom. And as you could tell, already installed is the AMD Display Driver. This is the newer version, as well as uh, Visual C++, Catalyst Control Center, Catalyst Install Manager, all of that good stuff. AMD Gaming, Gaming Involved app and AMD Drag and Drop Transition thingy, you don't need. You could uncheck. They're optional softwares, which I doubt anybody will really use, but you do want to check HDMI audio driver because you want to install the older version of the HDMI audio driver. The end user, end user license agreement, you have to accept. Again, it installs. Thank you for installing AMD Catalyst, blah blah blah, yes, accept. Then under here again, you go into the control panel, you go under sound. Again, you have a AMD HDMI output green check mark that's good if you go under the sounds tab and all of a sudden you test some of these sounds you're gonna hear hey all of a sudden it's functioning excellent again under the playback tab if you right click and select properties and under AMD HDMI output properties that opens coincidentally if you go to the advanced tab and select the sample rate and bit depth if you click the test button lo and behold all of a sudden your audio driver functions and things work as intended. Well, there you go. I'll leave you with that. I hope this information helps and as usual, all the best.